Coach, welcome to another edition of After Hours. Uh, on Sunday, we were looking at the idea of walking by the Spirit, part of the two-way series, but seeing that to really walk in God's way, we have to be empowered by the Holy Spirit. Um, we're talking about this process of sanctification now. Uh, justification, as a reminder, is that we are declared righteous by God. Uh, the penalty of our sins is forgiven because of the work of Jesus Christ that is received by faith alone. Then there's another process, which is sanctification, where we are gradually being freed from the power of sin. And that's a work that is done by the Holy Spirit as he works in and through us in, in a variety of ways. And I want us to see that in sanctification, we do participate and go along. Justification is entirely God's work and we receive it by faith. In sanctification, we actively uh, are part of it and, and adding energy in, but, but it's because of all that God has already done for us. So we're gonna be kind of looking at the sources, the, the resources that God has given to us in sanctification. And there's a couple of important Bible texts. One of them is in the book of Ezekiel, where Ezekiel's prophesying about the new covenant. And in Ezekiel 36, verses 25 to 27, he says, I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your impurities and all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I'll remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit in you to move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. So notice at the beginning, it's talking about our justification, that we are sprinkled and cleansed. All of our impurities, all of our idols are taken away from us. We are given a new heart. Uh, and this actually refers to regeneration, that there is a newness that comes into me. You know, another word is born again. I am regenerated, made anew, born again. And in doing that, God is not only forgiving the penalty of our sins, but notice he's saying he cleanses us. He removes these impurities. He takes away our heart of stone and he gives us a heart of flesh. We are given a new spirit, as it were. All of this is pointing out to the great change and regeneration. And that change means I have a new nature and I have new desires. The reason we can be sanctified is I'm not the same old me. It's not the same person. I was formerly one type of creation. I'm now a new creation. I formerly had one set of genes, as it were, and I now have a new set of genes that are given to me by the Holy Spirit. And so they naturally want to begin walking in a new way. But not only are we given this new heart and new spirit, God tells us, this is quoting out of Jeremiah 31, another passage about the new covenant. And this is requoted in Hebrews chapter eight. God says, this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after that time, declares the Lord. I will put my law in their minds and I will write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. See, it's saying here that so many of the physical Jews had not walked in the way because their hearts were wayward and old and the law was outside of them. But in the new covenant, we're given a new heart and God has written on that new heart and in our new mind, he has actually written his law. So now the law is not just an external reality that condemns, it's an internal reality that is prompting us and saying, this is the way. But then finally, the most important thing is again in verse 27 there of, uh, of Ezekiel 36, where it says, I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. So the law of God is now written within, but it still can't empower us. But thanks be to God, when you were justified, you were given the spirit of God. The Holy Spirit came to reside within you and within me, and he is there to empower us, to move us, to follow God's Torah, God's instructions, so that we can now walk in it. So friends, we can become sanctified. We can grow more holy. We'll never be perfect in this life, but that's because the one who justified us, our God, has also begun our sanctification, and he has given us the things that we need, cleansing us, purifying us, giving us a new heart, a new spirit, a new mind, writing his law on our heart and on our mind, and then giving the Holy Spirit to prompt and empower us. We are people made new, people with the word of God inside of us and people who have the spirit dwelling within us to keep pushing us back towards righteousness so that even when we fall, he constantly guides us back. Thanks be to God for the gift of the Holy Spirit. I encourage you in this Pentecost uh, week, 
here as we're celebrating Pentecost to just give thanks to God for that. What a gift we have in the Holy Spirit. And let's hear and walk from the Spirit today. You are a new creation in Christ Jesus. You have been made new. The old is gone, the new has come. What you were before is no more. You are now new and given the Spirit to enable you to become more and more like Jesus Christ. I hope this is encouraging and helps you. And I look forward to us gathering in worship again. It was so good seeing everybody and being able to gather this Sunday. We look forward to doing it again this coming Sunday. God bless.